Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am doing the astounding science fiction tag. I just realized I don't know who the original creator of this is, so I will find that out and I will link that down below but I was tagged by David Wiley. I'll also link his channel down below. And I am actually really excited to do this because I love science fiction. Let's just get on with the questions or the prompts. Number one, what was the first science fiction book you read? First science fiction book I read, I probably don't actually remember, but the first one that I read that impacted me, that started me on this journey of a science fiction reader was Podcane of Mars by Robert Heinlein. I got this off of my dad's shelf and this is part of his Heinlein's Juvenile series and I was just really wrapped up in this adventure of this young woman who goes with her uncle and they're on their way to Earth but her uncle is a political figure and so different crazy things are happening. She isn't given all the information that she needs in order to react appropriately um, I don't, I don't know the best way to say that. That book made me want to read more science fiction and really, I think, helped secure my love of space opera. Question number two. What was the last science fiction book you read and what did I think of it? And the last one I read was Light Chaser by Gareth L. Powell and Peter F. Hamilton, which is a novella and I'm going to link my review. But overall, I enjoyed it. Again, it's a space opera and I like space opera. It's short, so you get a short adventure. It was a story that I would have been okay if it had been expanded into novella form. Not a novel, novel. I would have been okay if it had been expanded into a novel form, given some more details of her journey as she came to find out what was going on. Question number three. If you love science fiction, what made you love science fiction? And there are two things. One, my dad had a lot of science fiction on his shelf, so that was easy for me to get a hold of and read. And two, I wanted to be an astronaut as a child. Up until the point that I figured out that I am awful at math, I actually switched numbers in my head. And yeah, so for many years, like my bedroom, I don't know, the, the bedroom I'm in was not my childhood bedroom, but the color that they had painted these walls are basically the same color that my childhood room was like cosmos blue that was my childhood room color because i was going to be an astronaut i was going to go into space and since in reality i am not smart enough to go into space i do so through science fiction so my preference on what i read when i read science fiction is space things but i do read other science stories as well question number four what is your favorite science fiction movie? And I don't have a favorite. There are many different science fiction movies that I like. Again, I tend to be drawn to the ones that actually are in space. I remember watching Star Wars as a child and that story fascinated me. I enjoy Galaxy Quest, uh, The Fifth Element, Independence Day. I like Alien in the Alien series, Interstellar. I don't have a favorite science fiction movie, but the ones I like most are the ones that have to do with space or have the character going into space. And number five, what is your favorite science fiction TV show? Same thing, I don't have a favorite. Again, my favorites ge generally are when they're in space, like Firefly. I know I enjoyed Stargate Atlantis when I was younger. Yeah, shows like this. Actually, when I watch TV shows, I, it's, it's interesting. I like to watch a lot of like cop dramas, so normally not things that are set in space. I guess that's like my break from reading all my science fiction, maybe? I don't know. Number six, what science fiction book do you feel should be read more often? Oh, so many. Some books that come to mind is Terminal Alliance by Jim Hines. Actually, the third book in that series is coming out this summer. I haven't heard anybody talk about this book and it is so much fun. It's about a civilization, like human civilization. Something happened and it is with the disease and humans regressed into zombie-like creatures and this alien race found them and found a cure to help them 
regain their faculties and their humanity. They've added them to their peace governing force. And so some, so many are like soldiers, they're helping to keep the peace. And the Terminal Alliance, you're actually following janitors on a spaceship. The original infection that the humans had gets released in the air on the ship, but because they were in hazmat suits, basically, like where air couldn't get through fixing a problem, they don't get reverted. And now they have to go, like, get through the ship to get to the control center to get help. And they're trying not to kill their ex friends who are now zombie like creatures, but they're trying to survive as well and find out that there's a bigger plot afoot. And it is so much fun, especially because, as I said, these characters are janitors, and so their solutions follow what they know, what they have experience with. It's a lot of fun, and more people should definitely read it. Read more science fiction, people. Science fiction gives you dreams and aspirations and helps you then turn around and look at the world that we have and go, how can I make our world better? That is science fiction. Seven, what is your favorite science fiction story? And just because I've already seen the question that comes after this, I think this is more archetype, and that would be space opera. I like going on an adventure through space and having, you know, a found family or community that you are working with. Number eight, what is your favorite science fiction book? And my favorite is Space Cadet by Robert Heinlein. Not a book that is heavy on plot, but it's so much fun, especially when I read as a teenager and was like, I would love to do that because at that time I still wanted to be an astronaut. So going to school and learning in space, how would that not be fun? And then bonus, since science fiction can involve the future, what science fiction books are you excited to read soon? Um, I shared that. I'm about to pick up Goliath by Tochian Yabuchi. And then some other science fiction books that I'm really interested in that I have on my shelf is The Kindred by Alicia Dow, Battle of the Linguist Mages by Scott O'Moore, I'm Waiting for Tiger Honor by Yoon Han Lee to come in, Mickey Seven by Edward Ashton. That sounds like a lot of fun. That's supposed to come out in February. The Misfit Soldier by Michael Mammy. That seems to be the type of like science fiction space opera-esque that I like. And many, many more. <laughs> and I mentioned the third book in the Terminal Alliance series, Terminal Peace is coming out in August. So how do you feel about science fiction? Do you get super excited to read it like I do? Or is it something you just sort of like? Please leave me a comment down below. Thank you and have a great day.